If you had to choose between Cad Bane or Boba Fett, who would you choose and why? I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comments, and the comment with the most likes will get pinned. I think we can agree that one of the best things to come out out of the Clone Wars series is the relentless and cruel bounty hunter Cad Bane. Coming from the planet Duro, he went on to earn the reputation of the galaxy's best, deadliest, and most fearsome mercenaries during the Clone Wars. Now, exactly how did he achieve this status? Well, Bane used an impressive arsenal of weapons and tools to ensure that he will be well prepared for any situation that may befall him. He took pride in arming himself with only the finest weapons and equipment. He even nicknamed his blasters the Persuaders. His blasters were a pair of personalized Blastech LL30 blaster pistols, which were made of an expensive one-of-a-kind alloy that provided prevent overheating during a prolonged usage. As time went on, he developed a habit of hiding spare weapons and kept a concealed bola, a smaller holdout pistol, and a variety of different explosives on him at all times. However, one of the most stranger and interesting things he did utilize was removable cybernetic breathing tubes that were embedded in his cheekbones. They were directly connected to his windpipe, allowing him to work freely in harsh atmospheres without requiring additional protection. However, this does not fully explain why he wore these breathing tubes. With an in-depth analysis of his character, you can pretty much sum up that Bane's gear in general was designed to counteract the abilities of Force users, meaning the Jedi. In fact, the main reason why he wore breathing tubes was because that they prevented him from being Force choked. Even though the Jedi did not not have the habit of force choking people, Cad Bane went a step further. He made sure that even in dire times, no one would be able to use that force power. But he didn't stop there. What's more is that Cad Bane's rocket boots rivaled a Jedi's force speed and force leaps, allowing him to outmaneuver and outjump many force users. He could even imitate force lightning with his contact stunners that were meant to electrocute his foes. While you can say that many bounty hunters made their name through skill, Cad Bane definitely went a step further with his equipment. Perhaps that is the main reason what separates him from many other bounty hunters throughout the galaxy. We witnessed many of his miraculous moments in the Clone Wars series, and of course I would love to know your thoughts as well my friends, so if you have a favorite Cad Bane moment then feel free to let me know down in the comments, and of course lastly, Thank you guys so much for watching. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.